are here in the Wesley Hall showroom where we're going to take a look at the new collection by Peter Jacob and talk to the designer and President Zach Taylor about why they brought this collection to market. Wesley Hall is very known for beautiful fabrics and classic design. Tell us a little bit about what you were hoping to bring to your showroom mix with the addition of Peter Jacob. Great, Cindy. You know, you mentioned the word classic, and that is my favorite stance on Wesley Hall. We are classic upholstery made current, and I'm very proud to have invested in a, in a talent and an energy that brings a new perspective to the classic tailoring and comfort that we're very well known for. Peter's pedigree speaks for itself, uh, and his tenure and his experience is well known, but I'm happy to have partnered with someone and collaborated with someone who actually is a new and building talent for our industry. Peter, the collection looks great. Tell us a little bit about your design aesthetic. My design aesthetic is rooted in my traditional background. So I started working with Kindle Furniture Company when I was quite young, and it's just sort of rooted in that. But then um, there's such a need to provide fresh and new. So I like to uh, respond to design by breaking it down into a 70-30 mix. So if it's 30% modern, let's do 70% traditional. If it's, you know, and then we flip it. Um, just to add that sort of like whisper of tradition in most cases and, and clean the line, let's do something simple, elegant, and fresh. Fantastic. And you know, we're going to take a look around the showroom at some of the pieces, but you know, we're standing in, in front of one of the showstoppers, I think. Tell us a little bit about this piece as well. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pieces. It's called the Social Sofa. And really that sets you up for the expectation of how it's meant to be uh, played with, placed in the room, um, just kind of enjoyed. Um, we had a cocktail party here last night and people were truly enjoying it socially, accessing it from the front and from the back and, and really um, just playing around and, and having a good time. I love that. I love that furniture can su supply that kind of platform. Fantastic. And, and what type of end consumer do you have in mind when you design? Uh, you know, I try to think through all the levels of, of the customer, which is that, you know, we uh, sell to retailers and uh, also to designers. So we want to supply tools for use, you know, a good variety of things that can be applied. Uh, different fabrics can be applied, different nail head options, so that designers can really enjoy it, play with it. And then the un end customer at retail can do the same for themselves. Fantastic. Well, as I said, we're going to take a look around. And thank you very much for thank your time. You. Thank you.